I grew up in a fishing town. I've been mad about boats and fishing and the sea all my life. When I was playing basketball in the States, I used to dream of coming home and just getting in a boat and being free. Like they say, a bad day's fishing is better than a good day's work. These last few years I've boated and fished the whole western coast from Esperance all the way around New Guinea and I've had a chance to really take in what we have here. We've been lucky. Until now we've had it pretty good but more and more of us are fishing. We're travelling further and further out to sea and to catch less. Fish stocks are tanking because we're catching them faster than they can breed and recover. We're all trying to do the right thing but we're fishing ourselves right out of paradise. If we don't pull back a bit, a bad day's fishing might be the very best we can expect in the future. So it makes sense to give the sea a bit of a breather, especially key breeding, breeding habitats. But none of us want more and more closed seasons. We need to set areas aside as permanent recovery zones. Right now only about 1% of WA's waters are protected and that's not enough. It's not even close. All most of us want is to be able to go out get a feed. But I want to leave something for the kids. To do that, we've got to put something back. To keep fishing, you've got to leave some fish in the sea. It's not about locking resources up. It's about saving for the future, the way you save for your family's future. That's why I support marine sanctuaries. They work. They breed more fish. That's good for fishing. Right now, the government is deciding which areas to protect. Let them know you want more protection inshore where the pressure is. Sign up, give your kids a chance to fish in the future.